Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to the Canning Nana. Today we are going to be canning chicken thighs, one of my favorite things to can, ugly chicken at its best and most juiciest. And you can use it in just about any recipe. So come along with us. We are gonna be using four jars canning lids. We are gonna have a great time. This is such an easy process. And if you're new to canning, this is the best thing to learn with because it's so simple. Come along. Okay, so here we go. We have, if you guys looked at the other video that I just put up, um, we have a bunch of canning, uh, of chicken to can that I got on a mystery shop. Yep, so not only did I mystery shop and get a great deal, but most of these were free. Um, in fact, pretty much all of them. So um, we are gonna be canning these into all of these jars using our four jars lids. I've got, my boxes are almost empty here. Um, I have canned over a hundred jars um, with these lids with zero fails. If you guys have not tried the um, four jars canning lids, please give them a try. You will absolutely love them. The quality is amazing. Um, you can see very, very durable. They are thicker than um, the ball canning lids or the Kerr. Um, and these have no fails, so yeah. Um, the silicone adhesive on them, oh my goodness, you guys, this absolutely works. It is so great. So go on over to the Four Jars uh, website and use my discount code of NANA10, all in caps, N-A-N-A-10, for 10% off of your order. Um, and you will love them as much as I do. Okay. So all of these jars are cleaned and ready. My lids are cleaned and ready. I have some of these um, rings already cleaned and ready. This is not one of them. Um, all of my rings are uh, drying right now. So we are going to just take the chicken out of these jars, or out of the packages and put them in the jars. So simple. So we're gonna be doing this with a little bit of a twist because um, I am raw packing these, which means that you don't add any liquid to your jars. So what I like to do is put a teaspoon of better than bouillon in here because the chicken makes its own broth, but adding this to it just makes it that much better. Um, it gives it a really good flavor. This is low sodium. It's organic. You can see organic reduced sodium. I am not sponsored by Better Than Bullion. It's just one of my favorite products to use, um, both the roasted chicken and the beef flavor. Um, it's, it's just good. I mean, you put this in a jar with your ugly chicken and it makes all of the difference. So we love to make chicken salad out of our um, canned chicken. It's one of the things that we really, really enjoy doing and um, I have tried both ways. So my husband, always goes and looks with for the jars with the better than bullion in it because it has like a yellow tinge to it um, where the canned um, the chicken with no better than bullion and makes its own juice is more like a clear um, like a clear liquid so he always looks for the stuff with the better than bullion because it gives it the chicken a better flavor and that's true for anything that you're going to use your chicken in um, I have just found it's much tastier um, and these are chicken thighs. These are all chicken thighs. I usually can chicken breasts whenever I can get them. Um, and I have been looking for chicken breasts on sale. Usually, you guys know if you're canners, it's usually $1.99 a pound, right? Um, sometime even 99 cents a pound. Well, not this year. Um, I'm hoping, I mean, I'm hoping this winter that it goes on sale. That's usually when chickens go on sale is during the winter, like November, October, November, December. You'll see um, a rotation every four weeks. They'll go on sale, different stores. That's when I usually stock up. Well, I could not beat this sale, you guys. Could not beat it. Um, where am I gonna find almost two pounds of chicken for $3.02? Um, yeah. So, and like I said, mystery shopping, is paying for this so um, it's basically free for me and I like it that way <laughs> so this is gonna feed us for quite a few meals um, and I have a lot of chicken breast in the freezer right now and I was getting ready to take that all out and thaw it and can it 
um, and I'm still going to do some of that, but we prefer chicken thighs, and um, I don't have to cut anything off, maybe a little bit of the fat, but not a whole lot. So it's super, super easy. Let's get started. Guys, so we have all of the chicken out. This is all of the chicken. So I am, I have, I also have beef um, that I wanted to can with the chicken because I thought, oh yeah, I can get everything in my canner, right? Because um, I have, I have two pressure canners. I've got my Miro and I've got my All American. Um, but my All American is super heavy and I cannot pick it up um, to get it on my stove, <laughs> let alone to fill it. Um, so. I think I'm going to just wait on the ground beef, maybe cook it up and then can it tomorrow. Um, we'll see. But there is something else I want to do with the chicken, um, and that's make like a chili verde. I've got these packages that I got that is um, hatch chili verde. Let me show you. So I've got these, and I'm going to do two of these in my crock pot for tomorrow's dinner. Um, and it's just cooking sauce. So um, it's got hatch green chilies, garlic, and lime. That's all. Um, so I may be able to can some of this if there's any left tomorrow, but it has to cook for um, eight to 10 hours on low. And um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. So I, um, and we have plans tonight. So um, I need to get this done because it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, is just about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I am going to trim this and then show you how I put it in the jars and add the better than bullion. Okay, so here we are with all of the chicken in the background over here, all of my jars over here, and I'm going to show you how I um, fill the jar. I know you guys have seen me do chicken before, um, but we're going to do it again for all of the new canners that are out there. Um, let me just adjust this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So what I did is I cut the chicken um, into smaller pieces like this and I have trimmed it off. So um, there's a little bit of fat on it but not much. I am just going to be putting it in the jars um, until they're full. I didn't cut them all appropriately so I need to cut some more. Um, but I did leave some fat because you want the uh, juice of the chicken to fill your jar. So you're not putting any liquid in the jar. All you're doing is putting raw chicken in it. And the raw chicken will make its own juice. And it makes an excellent bone broth. So when you open this, don't throw away that broth. Oh my goodness. I had some uh, canning students throw away their broth. They emptied their jar. Um, the very first time that they canned chicken um, or any meat and I said no no <laughs> we, we don't do that that is the best bone broth that you will have and even better because we are using the better than bouillon like I said um, and that just gives it an extra um, creamy rich chicken flavor um, it's just amazing so you can actually make a soup with your juice that the jar provides and it will come to within an inch of headspace don't worry about that and if it doesn't you're fine um, even if a little bit of the chicken is showing on the top and is not covered by liquid it's fine to eat perfectly fine as long as you processed it correctly um, we're doing pints so chicken processes at 75 minutes for pints if you want to do it in quarts it's 90 minutes um, I never do chicken in quarts. I never do meat in quarts. It's only the two of us. So the rule of thumb is one pint usually fits about one pound of chicken. Um, and it's a very good rule to, um, to know, especially for recipes. So um, we are just going to fill it like this, complete the rest of these. And all I'm doing, let's see if you guys can see, is I am going to be adding... A hefty teaspoon of better than bullion right to the top of that making sure not to touch the chicken with the spoon and that is all that there is to it we are going to wipe the rims put our four jars canning lids on it with our rings and put it in the canner it is that simple you guys if you are afraid of pressure canning or pressure canning meat or anything like that, please, please don't be. Trust the process. 
trust yourself. Um, it, it's not scary. Pressure canning is very, very safe. And I will tell you, meat is one of the very easiest things that you can pressure can. Um, and chicken comes out so good. You are going to literally wonder what took you so long, if you've never done this before, what took you so long uh, to can your meats and chickens. You're gonna love it, especially canning beef. Any um, tough cut of beef that you can comes out the tenderest, most delicious beef ever. You can eat it right out of the jar. It is absolutely amazing. Just follow the rules, um, follow the canning process, um, get a ball book if you're not sure, watch me, watch other canners in our canning circle that teach USDA canning uh, guidelines, and you don't have to worry about not having safe food. Um, I know a lot of people are not sticklers for the USDA. Um, they're, uh, they wanna can, go off and can some things that um, may not be approved. So approved only means tested. Um, yes, my grandparents and great-grandparents canned as well. We made tomato sauce. Um, I come from a large Italian family in Sicily that made their own tomato sauce. They did not even can it. They didn't even water bath it. Um, was it safe back then? Yes, nobody got sick. Um, and that's the um, theory that I hear now with a lot of canning is, well, you know, my grandparents did it, nobody ever got sick. Well, food was different back then, especially tomatoes. Um, we're going to go into that in a different video. Today, um, we have the opportunity and um, the technology to know the science behind the canning and the reason why we do the things we do to make our food safer than it was before. Um, yes, people died of botulism, you guys. Botulism is real. Um, and you may not have heard about it so much way back when because there was no social media. There was no TV. Um, there were no telephones. So it was only by word of mouth. So yeah, it, it is very, very real. So be very, very careful with the food that you can. Be very clean when you're canning. Um, only can the finest ingredients, the best ingredients. If I had not seen these chickens marked down and the beef that I got being marked down at the time, um, and if they weren't two days in advance, um, it, you know, if the date wasn't two days out, I would not have gotten them. I only can the best quality products that I can absolutely get, uh, no matter how discounted or cheap they are. You have to be safe with your food. You are feeding your family. And that is everything, you guys. Okay, so off of my soapbox, I am gonna finish canning these, these uh, filling these jars, and then I will be back. Okay, so we are back. Let me get this where my gimbal is not shaking. Okay, so I have, oops, I have done um, all of the jars. We have nine jars. Sorry for the vibration, you guys. Um, and I have some vinegar on um, a paper towel. So I've got all the chicken on there. I'm gonna wipe my jars. Got the better than bouillon in there. Really, really good. And we're gonna put our four jars canning lids on them and put them right in the canner. Okay, so we are going to put the lids on, and that is how simple canning chicken or any meat is. Super, super easy. People think the process is so hard, so difficult, and it just, it just isn't. It's just so easy. Okay, rings on. Get these in the canner and then I will be back to show you guys what it looks like at the end of the canning process. So remember, um, chicken in pints cans for 75 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes. And if you do it in quarts, if you choose to do it in quarts, um, that's 90 minutes, so an hour and a half. 
and you start to time it once you vent your canner for 10 minutes. And at the first jiggle of your jiggler on your canner, look at that. And I did not pack it tightly, pack it loosely. You don't want to just stuff it in there. This will all go down. Um, and make sure that you leave about an inch and a quarter headspace. Um, I left an inch because I left so many uh, areas. Once this starts cooking, it's going to go way down. Um, there is plenty of room in these jars. There's room at the bottom. Um, yeah, these, these will go down to an inch and a quarter headspace. Um, that's the recommended headspace now with chicken because of all of the uh, liquid and stuff that they put in there. But wait until you see these jars and what they look like. Uh, and they taste amazing, you guys. So I will be showing you some uh, canned chicken recipes coming up soon. Thanks for watching. The word of the day is going to be ugly chicken. Let me know if you've tried it. Um, I have been doing ugly chicken for about, oh, about 17 years, I guess. Um, yeah, it's only termed ugly chicken because of the way it looks in the jar when it's cooked, um, when it's all processed. It's not really pretty, but it comes out amazing and the taste is perfect. So make sure that you subscribe to be eligible, like the video, and uh, comment the word of the day in the comment section below, which is ugly chicken. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Um, and stay tuned for the results of the canning.